10 to the x times 5 to the x squared equal to 50. We want to find x is what? So here, because x is in the power, we want to use logarithm. But first, you should know something. Basic rules about logarithm. At first, logarithm is what? If b to the m equal to a, then you can say it is equivalent that log b of a equal to m. The next thing, so um, I take a log from both sides with same b. It will be log 10x times 5. And log is one to one function. If you don't know it is what, you can send message to my WhatsApp number. So the diagram of log is what? Is this? If b is greater than 1, and this one is this, it is log b of x. If b is between 1 and 0. So, and this one is 1. It's the diagram. Now, uh, one important rule in logarithm is that if we have log ac, it is equal to log a plus log c. Another thing is if we have log a to the m, it is equal to m log a. So here, first I say log 10 to the x plus log 5 to the x squared equal to log 50. And then I say, okay, it will be x log 10 plus x squared. I apply now this part, x squared. I take uh, the power in front of log, log 5 equal to log 50. Okay, now we take all things to the left hand side. And, uh -huh, X1 is one answer here, we can check. X1 is one solution here. So we take all things x squared log 5 minus x plus x log 5 minus log minus plus x log 10 minus log 50 equal to 0. Now we factorize, we write x. Uh, one part is x minus 1, because x1 is one answer, when you factorize one factor is x minus 1, then the other factor, x log 5, then this part will be okay. Uh, because I want negative log 50, I plus log 50, so, so the constant term is this. The coefficient of x is x log 50 minus x log 5. Log 5. And let me tell you something. We have another rule in logarithm. Let me check it here. Log 50 minus log 5. That if we have subtraction between two logs, for example, log a minus log c, then we say it is log a over c. So log 50 minus log 5 is log 50 over 5, which is log 10. So this part is also okay. So we factorize this part. It is equal to 0. The first part is 0, which is x equal to 1, we found, or second part is 0, means x log 50, log 5, plus log 50 equal to 0. Now, we can say, okay, x log 5 plus log 50 equal to 0, so x log 5, we take log 50 to the right hand side, it will be negative log 50. Now we divide both sides by log 5, the answer will be negative log 50 divided by log 5. So it is our second answer. Okay, it is our second answer. If you had questions, send message to my WhatsApp number and please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell and like the video. Thanks, bye.